Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. This is the Ministry of Reconciliation to Christ Jesus. Uh, you can find us online at mrcjtv.org. And uh, this is our Sunday school, the Sunday school portion of our program. Mm -hmm. I am Minister Kenneth Hunt. The topic of our lesson today is how to minister to the church. Now, the only way that we can minister to the church is through Jesus Christ, because he is the head of the church. And uh, him being the head, just like our, our body has a head, mm -hmm. the head has the brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, the body cannot function without the brain mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, direction and leadership, in, in terms of uh, giving commands uh, to the different members. So Jesus Christ is the head of the church because he gives us direction. The church cannot go anywhere without Jesus Christ. So we must hear from him. Uh, the programs set up by men, and religion set up by men is not necessarily the church. The church is the body of Christ or it is an organization or an organism that's set up by God mm -hmm. and uh, to accomplish His will on the earth, mm -hmm. and the only and uh, it's set up to minister to itself mm -hmm. or to His self, Amen. Mm -hmm. Through us as members, mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. As we covered last time uh, in the Word, uh, last Sunday I was telling you there was uh, uh, four words I wanted to. Um, those words are found in um, 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. Um, we want to start with the second verse. Say, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, howbeit the Spirit speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesies speaketh unto men uh, to edification and or exhortation and comfort. And uh, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesies edify the church um, and it says also um, I would that ye all spoke with tongues but rather that ye prophesy for greater is he that prophesies than he that speaketh with tongues except ye interpret that the church may receive edifying and that word edifying simply means to instruct specifically so that so as to encourage uh, intellectual moral or spiritual improvement mm -hmm. impart skills or knowledge mm -hmm. that's edification that's how you edify someone mm -hmm. is to make them better mm -hmm. spiritually or uh, economically or whatever giving them a word to incur to uh, make them better. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's how you edify someone to make them better than they they was when they uh, when you uh, first encountered them. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, and it also says right here. Let's go down to um, let's go down to the sixth verse. It says, "Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues." What shall it profit you except uh, I speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophecy or by doctrine? And those are the four words that we want to, uh, to define. And the first word here is, uh, is by revelation. Uh, revelation is a manifestation of God's will or truth. Mm -hmm. A manifestation mm -hmm. of God's will or truth. Mm -hmm. And th this is 
uh, God gives you a manifestation of his actual manifestation of God's will and truth mm -hmm. that uh, not only uh, you see things spiritually, you also see things physically. You see things in the spiritual realm as well as the, spirit, uh, as the uh, physical realm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes something will be right in front of you, but you won't see it. Mm -hmm. Until God reveals it to you, mm -hmm. then you'll see it. Mm -hmm. I can be looking for something and it'll be right under my nose. Mm -hmm. Or it could be in an obvious place and say, Lord, I don't see. I, it, instead of getting frustrated, I say, Lord, where is it? You see all and you know all. And uh, lo and behold, I see it. It's, mm -hmm. You know, God just opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. So that's a revelation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God, and so, uh, same thing about spiritual things. God gives you a revelation of His Word. Mm -hmm. It's not just uh, mentally understanding it. God gives you His understanding, His interpretation mm -hmm. of what the Word is about. Amen. Mm -hmm. Uh, knowledge in this case is to know what God knows mm -hmm. about a given situation. Now to know it, God gives you his knowledge about a certain situation. We have carnal knowledge, mm -hmm. but God gives you his knowledge, which is spiritual knowledge. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Then you have doctrine. Mm -hmm. Doctrine simply means a principle or body of principles presented for it for acceptance or belief. So everyone have the same set of instructions, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. The whole church can have the same set of instructions when doctrine comes to it, mm -hmm. amen. Everybody has a spiritual understanding of how things are supposed to be put in order, mm -hmm. amen, and how we are to worship God mm -hmm. collectively. And as far as prophesying, uh, uh, we can refer to, back up to chapter, uh, chapter 1, I mean up to the, the first verse, uh, about what, what prophecy really means. Uh, let me see. See, right here it says, But he that prophesies speaketh unto men, not David. He that prophesies speaketh unto men to edification, exhortation, and comfort. Mm -hmm. And let's go over those words. Uh, those, those words right there. Exhortation is, is a speech or a written passage intended to persuade, inspire, or to encourage. Mm -hmm. That's exhortation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we have edifying, which, okay, I just went over edifying, and, and comfort seeing what this, this is how the spirit comes. It comforts to soothe in the time of affliction or distress. That's very important, because mm -hmm. we all go through that. And the church, God put members, God put this gift in the church uh, for for the church can, uh, so the church can be comfortable, mm -hmm. you know. Not for common comfort, as I said before, but uh, for spiritual comfort. And, uh, and it says also to give hope or help uh, in a time of grief or pain. Mm -hmm. All of us go through that. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we, uh, as the body of Christ, mm -hmm. start to function in those, uh, those areas where God wants us to function. Mm -hmm. And to open our hearts to, edif to receive edification as well, to as, well as to give uh, edification or comfort mm -hmm. or whatever the Spirit is doing. To uh, so that the, the body of Christ can be adequately served, amen, mm -hmm. can be adequately uh, edified. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's the end of this particular lesson. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up this next Sunday. God bless you, mm -hmm. and God keep you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.